Welcome back into the Sports Source, the segment of our program brought to you by Tenova Healthcare. Tenova, of course, did a wonderful job with me when I was battling cancer a few years ago. They helped my father when he was battling cancer just last year. They can help you. Uh, Tenova with personal care. That's the thing I like most about them. Uh, anybody on the staff, the doctors, the nurses, it's all very personalized. You're not just a number, and that's not always the case in the hospital industry. Tenova Healthcare, trust me when I tell you to trust them. Tenova.com to learn more. Trust these guys as well. We have <laughs> Sterling Hinton, VFL quarterback. We yes, have sir. Chuck Cavalleras, who I took an ugly shot at earlier. I apologize. <laughs> it's a silly shot. And then down there, Former of all, Daniel Hood, defensive lineman. We appreciate you guys for being with us. Uh, John, uh, that's okay after a win. Okay. But just don't let that happen. <laughs> okay. You're, everybody's in good mood. Yeah, all right. uh, fame or blame? I want to know who gets fame. We'll start with fame. Who did? Uh, who deserves some credit for the play yesterday? I, I'm going to call that uh, Todd Kelly Jr. I mean, coming in and playing behind uh, Mr. Randolph, getting that ejection. I think the refs did another one of those ref jobs. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, got to be ready to play, stepped up and did his job. And I, I tell you what, i got somebody that, that really continues to impress me is Owen Williams. Yes. Okay. And how many times has he been called Owen Wilson? <laughs> you know, but the plays he continues to make – I think he is emerging as an all-SEC caliber player. Six tackles, three tackles for loss yesterday. Great yes. game for Owen Williams. Yes, sir. Daniel Hood. I'm going with the defense as a whole. You know, coming into the game, I knew it was going to be a tight game. They didn't really have much to really game plan off of going into the game. And I think a lot of the issues that you've seen in the game was the guys not knowing what South Carolina was going to run. Mm. But at the end of the day, they found a way to win. They found a way to force a play at the end of the game, force a fumble to end up winning the game. So big game for the defense. And I'll give, uh, I'll give a little fame to Malik Foreman. Getting in, there, getting in there and punching that thing out of there. That's big thing. Uh, I thought Jalen Reeves Maven down there. Who recovers the fumble? Jalen Reeves Maven. Hey, man, he, of course. Course. he just makes plays every single week. He every makes plays week. A lot of plays. Bob, you got somebody else? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Aaron Medley. I mean, hey. a, a kid yep. that got beat up pretty bad yeah. through the course of the season. A lot of people still, you know, talking about the Alabama game, talking about the Florida game. Oh. And you don't have his two field goals yesterday, you don't win this football oh game. And, and they weren't chip shots. They weren't 20-yard field goals. I mean, he – Two weeks you know, in a row now. He's had a 44-yarder. So, yeah. his, his yeah. range is expanding yeah. a little bit. Um, Vaughn Pierce. Yes, that's what I was going to say. Too. The yeah. Eight catches, 121 <laughs> yards. I, he's – He's starting to – you've got Pearson and Josh Smith are really stepping forward as your guys at this point, it seems. At the, you're in the final quadrant of the season. It looks like those are the two you're trusting. And, and, and we can row over 100 yards for a receiver, which we've gone a long time yeah. without seeing that. Yeah. But your reading, leading receiver is not a receiver on the team. It's Kamara. Well, so, and, I, and that's what I was getting ready to say. How about the offensive coaches for finding out a way to get Alvin Kamara wow. in the game without him necessarily having to take out Jalen Hurd and, and you go with one or the other. Yeah, I, like well, I think we have to go a little bit of blame, too, on the offensive line. This is another game this season that we've not been able to get a first down at the end of the game to win the game to secure it. You know, and we've had to rely on the defense. Yeah, and they're beat up. We know that. Um, and South Carolina's putting eight and nine in the box. And the coaches chose not to throw it deep in their own end. But you're right. All, the bottom line is you got to make a hole and get ten yards, and they didn't do it. So. Yeah. Um, I will. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cross out one of yours. Cross it. That targeting call on Brian Randolph. That is the definition of targeting. <laughs> oh. that, it was a defenseless receiver. The one against Kentucky, totally bogus. But the receiver was defenseless. Randolph targeted him, helmet to helmet, whole thing. Well, I, I, I tell you what. <laughs> if you feel that way, and it is the definition, run that. But to me, the, the game I grew up playing. But yeah, that's mm. changed. No, I agree. So, but that's hey, I'm just saying. Was that targeting? I think, think that's why targeting? you had the rule. That's targeting. That's targeting. That's targeting. I, yeah, I think that's why you had the rule. Yeah, that's the textbook called Bob. Was that targeting? Textbook? You want me to hang with you, Sterling? <laughs> Roll with me, Bob. Roll with me with old school, Sorry. baby. No, that's that's targeting. Targeting. that was targeting. Progress. <laughs> Completely. Uh, that's right. that's, okay. that's right. why I was going to go back. It, it is old blame. school. It's old it's school. A different, it's a new school rule. Though. I know yeah, what Here's the thing. You can blame the refs on the forward progress thing, as Daniel said. Yeah. Go right ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say the forward progress was completely bogus. And I gave the yeah. example, you know, off air. How many times have we seen it down at a goal line, quarterbacks get stopped, and then he pulls back out and hits another hole? And, that, and of course, the highlight we show all the time is Peyton Manning, where he goes, uh, he's down there, comes up, makes a great throw. And so I just I absolutely hated that call because. But even on that play, how many times have you seen the, the, the player with the ball spin out of there? And keep running, yeah. and, and the yardage I, counts. If we 
It was close, I thought, but on the television broadcast, I couldn't hear it. But from what I was told, the whistle came after the, I mean, the ball came out before the whistle blew. If that's the case, then that's a bad call. If they were ruling forward progress in that situation. Um, well, if you can review right. forward progress, then you've got a whole <laughs> can of worms you just Yeah, that's true. And I don't, it's, it's a video review anyway. It's not an audio yeah. review. And they did um, show the official on the sideline right. was raising his hand like the play was over. Well, seeing that makes it a good call. Yes. But I still think forward progress, that's a, <coughs> that one's such an iffy call. All right, I'm going to throw out two more. Josh Malone with that drop. That was the best pass I've ever seen Josh Dobbs throw. And then <laughs> it came right off Malone's hands. I mean, you got to catch that one. Um, I, nobody was happier with that Malik Foreman strip than Malone yesterday, I'm sure. And then Alvin Kamara, who's been pretty, pretty good hanging on the football. Can't fumble inside your own 10-yard line. I don't blame the defense for that one. That was uh, You put him in a bad position. All right. When we come back, these guys and some others are going to grade Tennessee's performance across all these positions. We're going to talk about, I want to ask Sterling Hinton, how do you keep Josh Dobbs from fumbling? That'll make him mad. Come on back in the first <laughs> <laughs>